And the 45 machine is John Lazat out of Grand Forks doing double duty, I guess, in the number 45 car. Well, that's the transition going from the sport mod to the hobby stock. That's a whole different setup inside that race car. That caught me by surprise a little bit. It made me stutter when I read the name John Lazat. Had to make sure I took a double take. Grand Bowl is out front with seven to go. Katie Ruby's going to jump past Chris Seekings up into that number two spot. and She's got her sights set on the number six car, Brad Bull. Seekings running third in the 54. Tomlinson up in the marbles in the 3T. Now dives down on the inside of Seekings. Tries to grab that third place spot, and he does successfully as he takes it into corner one and two. There goes Katie Ruby in the number nine car, trying to get around Bramble. Meanwhile, the three-T machine of Vance Tomlinson sits back and watches the show for that battle for first place. Here goes Ruby down around the inside. Will she get across the flag stand? Checkered line first, she does. New leader with five laps remaining is Katie Ruby. Now Brandvold sticking the door panel down on the inside, but boy, Katie Ruby a lot faster on the back straightaway. Tomlinson still follows Katie out of the corner. Brandvold down low, trying to hold on to second, but Tomlinson drives around. Four laps to go. Ruby might have trouble, that three team machines coming up hot behind her as they go down the back straightaway. Ruby followed by Tomlinson. Then Adam Goff in the 30A machine. That's the top three as they go into quarters three and four. Out they come. It's still Katie Ruby, the leader. Vince Tomlinson with a very successful season so far. Won the two-day event in Williston. He's taken homes at wins in Underwood. Having a great season so far in the 3T. He's looking for more. And he's up on the... High side trying to get around Ruby as they come past the flag stand. High raised green, two laps to go. Not a whole lot of room in between Ruby and that guardrail for Tomlinson of the three T machine. Talked about success here at the playground this year for Tomlinson. Four wins in this division, seven top fives, eight top tens. And he's going to try to lead the next lap around. White flag is in the air. And Tomlinson, the new leader as they come by the flag stand. Tomlinson driving around Ruby now on the back straightaway. Last minute arrival to the party is the 30 of Goff. Here they come out of the corner. And Tomlinson will hang on. Goff is going to take second place away from Ruby at the finish stripe. Followed by Brantfold and John Lazat. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner. Out of Max in the 3T, it's Vance Tomlinson. Ladies and gentlemen, we want to thank Shots Cross. Senior 99 is Trevor Haas. 8K is Jason Olson. The 146 is Andrew Birch. Back rows, the 55 is Scott Jern. And the 211 of Joe Schroet. <laughs> Joe's Jason. excited about our sponsor. You like that number 99. Look at the 99 on the racetrack right now. That's Trevor Haas having a nice year here at the playground. It's Olson that leads him around, however. Coming by the flag stand for the first time. Seven laps remain for Jason Olson. Olsen sticking right in the middle. He's going to force everybody to go around him. Haas is going to take a look up high. Andrew Birch. So I keep on talking about everybody that's been having a great year. So is Birch in the 176 and Haas. They've both been phenomenal. And here they come out of corner number four. And Jason Olsen staving them off. Olsen leads them around. Six laps remain on the concrete mobile scoreboard. Then it's Birch on the inside of Haas. He's going to gain the advantage as Haas falls off the back of the racetrack, pops back on before quarter number three. Does the 146 car have what it takes to get around the eight machine of Jason Olsen? He's only got five more laps to go as Olsen leads him around. Wally Jones has joined us about two, three times in a row now. Coming down, I believe, from late night in the 4J. Trying to hold on to the lead is Olsen as they come out of corner number four. And past the flag standing in, Olsen's got Birch right behind him with four laps to go. Trevor Haas 
waiting for a mistake. That's the thing about these heat races. There just isn't a whole lot of time to make things work. You gotta draw lucky, you gotta be up at the front, you have to have a fast race car. That's exactly what the 146 has. And he's got the low line around the bottom. He's gonna make a pass for the lead. Your new leader in that number 146 car, it's Andrew Birch with three laps remaining. Nice move by Birch to gain that lead. And now Haas does a slide job, can't make it stick, and Olsen will still be in second with Haas in third. Let's see if he can try it again. There's the high raised green flag. Two laps to go. Nodak Speedway's favorite color, the green flag. Nice job keeping things rolling here tonight. Good program so far, especially for the Birch Machine 146. He has to be happy out in front of the pack. Nice battle for a second. Haas and Olsen go side by side, wheel to wheel. Down the back straightaway through quarters three and four. Look out for that tire. Olsen almost got into it. They come by with one lap to go. Birch still the leader. Trevor Haas is gaining a slightly, he was a half a second faster that time around, but that's not going to be enough. Xandru Birch will pilot the 146 machine into corner four. Looking for a smooth exit, he's got it. He'll come on by and grab that checkered flag. Haas will take second, Jason Olsen in third, Wally Jones in the fourth place finish. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner out of Minot, North Dakota, on the 146 machine. It's Andrew Birch. Before the lineup, I just have to ask you one question. 82, and rounding out the field of the 10Z from McGregor, North Dakota, sponsored by Walla Trucking, it's Mackenzie Baker. It's interesting out there, Nick, uh, Cole Hanshu, a uh, former hockey player for Minot High years back, has been in a few Enduros, but I don't think, to, at least to my knowledge, has ever been here in a race car at the Nodak Speedway, so. Unless I was missing something, and this is his uh, first race outside of the Enduro class. And he, he had some bad luck over in corners number three and four. I jinxed him already? No, you didn't. He's in the 82 car. My apologies. Okay. <laughs> I didn't put the dagger in him yet. The announcer's jinx, jinx at least last like two laps. That was Brandon Honru that went around over okay. in corner number four. Either way, Reese Digman is the leader. Now Dana Brandt's got his car back after the fair break, the 9D. And he's trying to grab that second place spot. Colton Gleave of the C45 trying to hold off Dana Brandt to the 9D. Brandt's gonna take the inside. Now they're on the bottom, there's a spin over in corner number four. That time it is the number 82 machine of Cole Hanshu. That was only a matter of time. Five laps remain for Dignan. This is a nice close battle up at the front of the racetrack. Front of the pack, I should say, with this group. Dana Brandt trying to become the leader. He takes that low line around again. Dignan hangs on for one more time by. Four laps remain to the concrete bubble scoreboard. Dignan's gonna have to guard down on that rail because that's the real estate that Brandt wants as they come out of corner two down the back. It's still Reese Dignan, but Dana Brandt Numerous former track champion here at the Nodak Speedway in the 9D trying to grab that spot. There's a spin on the front straightaway. And the yellow flag comes out. And there's I think it's like the second week of October. Green flag. Costanko and Brand both get a nice jump off the restart. Dignan's right in between them. We go three wide through corners one and two and out of the mix. It's the 37 car, Remington Costanko. Dwight up into the bunch now in that 31 car. Brant right there with him. Might be trouble with that Dignan car. No, there's not. Just didn't navigate through the corner like he would have liked to. Dwight and Costanko are two drivers, I believe, that actually came up through Enduro Racing. There's a spin in the back. It's Dignan going around twice. See if you can get it fired back up. As the leader Kostenko comes past the flag stand. And we're staying green. Dignam gets it back under power. In all of our heat races here at the playground of power, if you cause a caution flag in these heat races, you go right to the pits. So you might as well fire it up and keep it going. Unfortunately for Dignam, that's where he goes now. One lap to go here for Kostenko. 
more fired up and go to the pits anyway. <laughs> Costanko leads him down the back straightaway. Dwight still running second. Mackenzie Baker in that 10Z machine. And Dana Brandt hasn't made much ground in the 9D. Here they come out of the corner. And the checkered flag to Costanko. Dwight will take second. Baker comes across in third. And Dana Brandt's got to settle for four. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner in the 37 machine, it's Remington Costanko.